The Brit Awards after party returned with a bang on Tuesday night, with a whole host of famous faces partying into the early hours of the morning. Love Island presenter Laura Whitmore, The Masked Singers Jamie Winstone, Molly King and winners Becky Hill and Sam Fender all enjoyed a late night out on the town after the awards had been dished out. Emily Atak, 32, looked in good spirits as she piled into a cab with Radio 1 DJ Vic Hope and Graziano De Prima following the official after-show party at the O2 Academy. Emily had revealed her intentions for a boozy night earlier in the evening, captioning her pre-show selfie, The Great British Bar Crawl Right, Where's at Liam Gallagher? Hashtag Brits. Giggling in the back of a cab next to Italian dancer Graziano, the actress and comedian clearly seemed to be enjoying herself as she left the after party on Tuesday night. The star looked stunning in her sparkling midnight sky effect full-length gown and her long blonde locks, worn loose. The in-betweeners actress had originally planned to wear a gorgeous Stella McCartney floral gown to the star-studded event on Tuesday but had to switch things up because of her chunky bum. The masked singer star Jamie Winston also looked like she'd enjoyed her evening, as she slumped in the back of cab on Tuesday night. Sam Fender, who won the trophy for Best Rock Slash Alternative at the awards, was one winner who made sure he celebrated his success on Tuesday night. Prior to the show starting, the Geordie star, 27, spoke of his excitement I love any excuse to come out dressed up like this and have a party. And we got a party bus full of sausages and booze, Sam told the press association on the red carpet. The 17 going under singer was then asked what he would do if he won, to which he replied, drive the bus into the Thames. I think we are going to go out and party. Becky Hill, who won Best Dance Act earlier in the evening, was also snapped partying into the early hours of the morning. The Remember singer looked stunning in her micro-green dress and silver heels, as she celebrated collected her first ever Brit Award. Emma Caron, who surprised fans on stage at the awards, was also pictured leaving a Brit's after party at Shoreditch House. The Crown actress looked super chic in a blue tracksuit, after getting changed out of the white ensemble they wore on stage to recite a verse during Little Sim's single introvert. Emma appeared halfway through the set wearing a huge white hat with a matching blazer and black trousers, with their hair pulled into a middle parting with exposed roots coming through under the dyed blonde. Former Geordie Shore star Sophie Cassiai looked like she was stumbling as she made her way home on Tuesday night. The reality TV star appeared to lose her footing in the early hours, after wowing in a glittery ensemble at the star-studded event on Tuesday night. Prior to being snapped piling into a taxi on Tuesday evening, Emily Atak was snapped showing off her incredible figure in her stunning Stella McCartney gown. The 32-year-old TV actress had planned to wear a different dress, complete with intricate floral details and a dramatic fishtail finish, but the potential outfit wasn't quite the right fit. Had a fitting for the Brits and sadly can't wear this because of my chunky bum but wanted to show it off, Emily captioned the snap of the dress that wasn't meant to be. Emily opted for another Stella McCartney dress for Tuesday night's Brit Awards, a similarly styled floor-length dress with a midnight blue hua. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at trinitamirror.com or call us direct 0207 29